Good morning, guys. This is Stephen Howard and my dog, Yucca. I think we're on video 21 or so. Not really sure. Uh, been pretty emotional today. Uh, it is slightly snowing outside. Beautiful day in Montana. I uh, really wanted to talk about um, something that was brought to my attention, which is um, your faith. Um, this is a deep subject for me. Um, being clairvoyant or clairaudient... Um, I get downloads from the universe all the time. I see consecutive numbers all the time. I thought I was, you know, my parents when I was young put me in special ed and had me diagnosed and uh, I have dyslexic, dyslexia and ADHD and instead of Ritalin I started smoking pot when I was young, like 12 years old, I started smoking weed and cigarettes, and uh, I'm 48 now, and um, yesterday's video was about midlife, uh, we won't call it midlife crisis, but midlife changes. Um, so today's video is really based on faith, and um, faith is, uh, to me, I really like the, the print that you see that's probably in your grandma's house it's the footprints in the sand and there's you know you're walking with God and there's two sets of put footprints and then uh, you look back after a while and there's only one set of footprints and they're yours and you're like God why did you leave me you know right right when I needed you the most And God thundered down. I didn't leave you, my child. That was where I was carrying you. So. When you struggle. When you have problems that feel like obstacles that you cannot overcome. Right when you least expect it. Right when you're about to give up. God throws you an angel. They come out of nowhere and they, they pick you up and you feel that like, whoa, what just happened? And it really feels like uh, like that moment before you were without faith or that moment before you had your heart broken, you know, when you, you thought everything was fine. It, um, it wasn't. The universe has a plan for you. And... Uh, I love the Swedish House Mafia song, Don't You Don't You Worry Child. You know, I lived on a in a house by a blue lake. It's where I had my first heartbreak. My father told me, Don't you worry, child. Heaven's got a plan for you. Well, it's true. You might not see it. It might take a couple of months of just pain every day. Of wondering what happened, why, why you feel that way. But it takes your faith, your, your strength, your perseverance 
to push on, to keep going, to keep waking up and keep inspiring people to keep going to work, keep making your videos, keep caring for your children, keep loving your pets and honoring their place in your life. And then being easy, easier on yourself, you know, loving yourself and realizing that you're, you're beautiful just the way you are, that you don't have to change anything for anybody, that whoever didn't appreciate you in the past, maybe they just weren't educated to how valuable you really are. And maybe it's their loss, not yours. And maybe, just maybe, someone will reach out and uh, inspire you and tell you that they're having feelings for you. So, um, it's just really important that you have faith. I love what Denzel Washington said to his acting class, and that is, you got to put your shoes underneath your bed. I don't know, my shoes are down there somewhere. Put your shoes underneath your bed so that you got to get down on your knees in the morning to get them. So I've been praying a lot, and I've been manifesting a lot and just trying to put my best foot forward and be the light, be the love for a lot of people. And uh, someone who will remain not anonymous um, reached out to me and has really showed me a lot of love, a lot of kindness. And I'm uh, eternally, eternally grateful. It's not about what you can do for people. You know, I'm, I'm broke. I live in a trailer. <laughs> but it's what you can do for people. It's what you can sh show, what you can shine on people. I always love the Grateful Dead because they said, let your love light shine on me. And it's really true. You know, we all have a Care Bear stare. <laughs> so, um, today's video is about faith. Faith. By the way, thank you, Nikki Drader. The artwork is amazing. Everybody gives me a lot of compliments. You're the best tattoo artist in the world. <sighs> you know, it's not your loss. It's not your pain that makes you. It just teaches you how to be better next time it really does so have faith have faith that you're going to find the love from within have faith that you're going to shine on the people around you enough that someone will see and have faith that Someone is out there, you know, we, if we did have a past life, then we probably had many, many soulmates and soul family and people that we, we died with in battle, friends, family, lovers, that when you feel like you've lost the one, You never really lost the one because you are the one. So have faith. 
Have faith that they're out there. Have faith that they're listening. Have faith that they understand and they're blown away too that they realize it's you. Have faith. My, uh, my boss died just before Thanksgiving last year. He was an old hippie. We used to smoke weed together and he was 57 or so. He used to date 20, 26 years old, olds. <laughs> I told him, uh, don't you feel, you know, like you're dating your daughter or something or I don't know, that's weird. And, you know, he was manly man and true Montana and kind of reminded me of Sam Elliott. And he said, no, you know, the spirit has no age. It's, uh, it's about what's inside and what you decide to do with it. He also told me that, uh, Steve, you go through this much pain in life so that you get your wings before you go to heaven. See, because when you get up there, you're going to be sent right back down. You're going to be somebody's guardian angel. And if you hadn't lived through all that stuff and didn't have faith, you wouldn't know how to help them. And it really is true. I now understand. I really do. So much love to everybody in the collective today. If you do have a significant other, give them a big hug and kiss. And tell them how much you appreciate them in your life. If you're alone and you're tired of being alone, have faith. There's somebody right around the corner that you can't see. And they're just about to reach out to you. You have to make sure to be open to receive. You have to be make sure you're you're healed up enough to love back, you know? So, today as you're going to work or school or wherever you're going, just have faith that it's just another day that some miracles could happen today and you're not even aware where they're coming from. Uh, anyway, one love everybody. I hope you have an awesome day. Aloha.